hey there welcome to my youtube channel this design we're going to be recreating it the original design is from dan creative from painting choice we want to recreate this without further ado let us jump right into it so i'm going to bring in first the original design like this okay that is i import it i see that now then i'm going to bring um a shape like this all right so let's import this image okay this is the image i see that now so that's the exact image that we'll be using okay all right so you look at the way the design is this particular place you see is a mock-up so then for us to get it right this is what we're going to do so we're going to go again click on from gallery and get this design then crop this part at only that's the only way to get the exact size that you'll be designing on all right so we can go ahead and do this okay so this is the image all right so after that we want to get the other information so right here we're going to have not that shape so i have a shape here okay all right so the shape is it has a gradient color all right so let's go so we'll pick from this part we'll pick here Right, it's almost the same thing self then from here we can remove this so click on mine here to remove it all right all right let's see okay all right so we'll push this here take this out Right, so we have this this guy here online t shirt. Okay, we use B bands for it. B bands is a long font. There are other long fonts like Tall Boy and others. We use beamers for it. Okay, then we'll make it bold. Right, give it the same size like this. Then come over here, close it up a little, just a little. Then come over here, and do this. Right, just reduce this a little. Right, so go to color click on gradient the first is going to be um, a dark green the second is going to be a light shade yeah lemon so this will come here and this will come here um, based on what I'm seeing this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that this color here. I'm seeing that this color is a dark shade of green, like that. Then I'm seeing that um, line is the same thing, right? Then I'm seeing that the O N is different lemon so we can just get it here something like this all right so we're done so the next one is those information there all right so we can easily get them um get shapes for it so let's go so we're gonna go over here all right get a shape like this do this do this 
um, one, two, three, drag. Alright, so then we'll do it like this. Alright there. So we'll come over here now. Photos. Right, we click the text. Right, we pick this guys here. Right, then we'll copy and paste them here. Right, so I'll just copy this, no copy, then replace it here. Alright, so we'll do this for all. Okay. that then we have this 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 um image right here there's going to be a shape right there's going to be a shape let's use this so the shape's going to be there like that coming from here and enter into the picture like that all right at the back of the picture we have a laptop so just adjust it and then put it there we have a laptop there like this all right we'll send it to the back all right then um we have a shape here just very small there all right the color of the shape is this all right then we have another shape again here the color is um this all right this and this okay so we'll come over here again and we would pick this so here we have copy this right copy this and put it there we can paste this like this then we replace it with this other one this one is not there so we'll just pick one of these cut, cut it and put it there all right we'll paste we'll paste we'll paste um the last one we'll paste it there all right so we can delete all these guys here okay all right so it's going to be all white first and then specifically all these ones are going to be lemon like this All right and the list okay okay so right here we have um we have um okay so i have this 
let's copy this just copy and put it there all right the color is going to be all white all right we use a long font so we'll go back and use bibas all right so we are done with these guys here so for this we have um we have this guy and then a phone number so we're just gonna place this one instead okay all right we'll change the color to black all right for the phone number i'm just gonna put a random phone number there so let's say two three four five six seven eight nine ten plum all right so we'll check to use a bold and decent font all right all right so that line then we're gonna get it now so we're bringing in this guy we'll turn it like this reduce it okay we'll stretch this out okay and put it there okay the color is going to be this So we have what do we have there click here to enroll so we can take this one out by putting this as a white background you see that now so there is this um okay let's go let's go let's go with this click here to enroll so let's type this click here all right so we use a white font so let's go with this no let's go with this All right space All right so i'm coming here to enroll right i'll use a long font b balance make it bold try to do this All right centralize reduce a little centralize again All right so there is this uh what is it shape go to shapes go on to um let's use this all right so the color is going to be um yellow all right so let's go let's put it there all right so just copy this tool all right it's going to be black because it's going to be on um, a light background yellow centralize it all right so you see that now click here to enroll then we have a shape here um all right so this for this shape we can crop this part at not really cropping actually we can go to eraser and just clean so just increase it and just clean let's say from here all right to there all right then you hook it so uh copy this this time around let it be black all right bring it there okay 
so i think there's a word there was that i love literacy that's it so we just come over here and just type it i all right so i love um so let's let's try and get this love emoji is it okay i love literacy all right so we'll centralize it and then we'll just increase it a little the text is going to be black so make sure the text is black Right, it's really too big, so let's reduce. Mm, all right, put it there. All right, I think with this we are done. But well, one more thing to get all everything okay, we we'll get this background. This is right, make we had this. I just drag it from here. Sorry. I'll bring it to the front first so that I'll be able to operate do it like this. I'll just go over to this, brighten it a little, and uh, I'll send it to the back like that. And I'm still going to even reduce the opacity. All right, with this, we are done with the design. My name is Niamoda. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Something is missing. We have <laughs> we have removed something that's supposed to be there. This is it. So let's take it back again. All right. So that's it. I hope you gain something from watching this tutorial. So what we do now is that we save, right? We save as an image, all right? And don't forget to save your project because if you don't save your project, something is going to happen to it. So I'm just gonna save it as um online t-shirt okay i've saved it so now we will we'll do this we will now come over here we'll come over here now and get the original um template like this all right so this is it we get the original template then we would also remove it again sorry we we'll remove um the background so make the background white now all right then we can remove this guy sorry delete so we can bring in the, the design now import the design this is the design right here so put it at the middle like this all right so we we'll just centralize it and then we'll bring in this shape that will form this guy so we're just going to use um we're gonna use this for it no this is better or this send it to the back all right so this is it all right so we can go ahead and save the design my name is niamuda and i will see you in another tutorial